Las Palos area again, and I just uh, saw something very interesting uh, that I wanted to bring to your attention. I think this is a good example of a, of a combination of talking about weeds, what kind of weeds do we got, uh, cultural weed management, but as well as also some biological weed management, and maybe even some benefits of weeds. So kind of a big overall, kind of a big picture thing here, not specifically any one uh, particular element, but there's a lot of weeds in this ditch, or I should say there's a lot of, there's a lot of plants in this ditch. And, and if these plants that were right here, we can see these cattails, and there's a lot of water grass in here, there's Pennsylvania smartweed, there's a lot of nut sedge, there's a lot of weeds that if they were in that corn or if they were in that cotton, would, would be considered to be weeds. But actually in this ditch right here, they might be doing us a benefit, okay? So what is that benefit? Well, let's talk about it. Okay, here's that ditch, a lot of different weeds. This is our water grass. Uh, there's even a nightshade plant right there. Um, there's just a wide variety of things. Why are these, what, what's up with this? There's corn across the way there, but mostly if you look at that, there's not too many weeds. There's a lake over here. We've got some nice cotton. Okay, and it's mostly very clean. Look at that. This is, um, there's basically no weeds in this cotton. Again, you're gonna f be able to find some weeds along um, the edge right here. Here's a little bit of Bermuda grass. The cotton here, uh, you get to a point to where if you can control the weeds early, you see how it's shading out the ground. There aren't any more weeds because there's no sunlight. And you could say the same thing about the corn uh, on the other side. It's shading out a lot of weeds. So that's a cultural method. That's why if you can control the weeds early, you get the crop up and then uh, it helps with uh, managing weeds later in the season. Okay, not so sure I can probably get down in this ditch, but um, you know, here's some, um, it's wet down here. There's a little bit of water. I'm gonna show you that. A lot of different weeds, right? Here's uh, our Kaniza species, right? Not mare's tail because mare's tail typically grows very, very tall. Got a lot of so a lot of water grass in here. This is what our water grass looks like, our water grass head. Um, and there's water down here, so it makes sense. You know, you got water grass growing where there's uh, water. Oh. Sedges love water. You're gonna find these things around water again. World's worst weed right here, right? World's worst weed because it's uh, found everywhere. Uh, very difficult to control. Uh, this is uh, probably yellow nut sedge is what I'm assuming here. Um, there's a lot of characteristics about the sedges, this nut sedge you might think might actually make it a grass, including the fact that it's got parallel veins, uh, but it has a triangular shaped uh, stem, whereas a grass stem is not gonna be triangular shaped. So even though this has, vir has, has parallel um, veins on its leaves and kind of looks like a grass its flower definitely looks is different and it's got this these uh stems that are triangular shaped <laughs> So this is tailwater runoff, okay? That means that we've got water, irrigation water, it's coming out of these fields and there's a little bit extra, it's flowing into this ditch. Benefit of weeds. As the water runs through this, this can also almost be considered what's known as a, as a um, grass filter strip. So in other words, these, all these weeds growing into this ditch right here, are cleaning that water as it comes off the field. They're taking out sediment if there was any soil uh, suspended in that water as it comes out of the field, and they're taking it and it's uh, dropping it out. They're removing, if there's fertilizers in the water, nitrogen, nitrates, phosphorus especially, things like that. So this, these weeds are serving a benefit in that they are helping clean the tailwater. And they're not bothering the, the crops on either side of it, the cotton or the or the corn, um, they might be providing some, you know, biological benefit to some insects and birds. I did see uh, a bird in here. Pennsylvania smartmead, which I saw in here, 
is a very good grain for a lot of birds. It's got a lot of protein in it. So in this particular case, the growers um, are, are not spraying these weeds out with herbicides because they one, they don't need to, and two, in this particular case, they're actually they're actually being beneficial. So this grassy filter strip, you could call it, is draining this way towards the east, and those trees over there, that's the San Joaquin River. So we don't want we don't want tailwater is what they call it, or the drainage water from either this cotton crop or the corn crop or cotton crop to um, to be going into the river.